Hi everyone, I'm Donna Stellhorn, your practical astrologer, here to talk to you today about the new moon in Leo for Taurus natives or Taurus rising. This is on October 18, 2020, and the energy is going to last for about four weeks. And let's get started. So this new moon falls in your fourth house. That is home and family. It is the dwelling it is also your foundations and that is how your upbringing has affected your decision making today and so all of these things are highlighted and so you may spend the next few weeks really focused on where you're living maybe you're thinking about moving maybe it is time for you to redecorate or declutter perhaps you are looking at what was in your upbringing that that really made a difference in your life in a positive sense and what are the blocks that you kind of grew up with that now are giving you some challenges and so all of these things are the focus right now now of course there is a huge amount of aspects that this is doing i can't wait to tell you uh, let's start with the very first one thank you There's a huge amount of aspects with this new moon, starting with the fact that Mercury is sitting right there on top of that sun moon. So at Mercury is how you communicate your thinking process, how you express yourself out in the world. And now it is sitting there on this new moon. So the interesting thing about that is it is not just blending there. It is obliterated by the sun that is so bright. So what can happen is that you can be come unaware of what other people are suggesting. You can start to think that what you're thinking is the only way to think. And of course, this is a temporary aspect. It's not going to be there forever, but every once in a while this happens and we get so invested in what it is that we're thinking that we're not open and listening to other people. And so that's the energy of this conjunction. In addition to this, we have the sun and moon making a trine to the south node. And that means it's very easy to go backwards, to, to go back into something you've done before. It's, it's almost the default. You know, you think, oh, I have to do something with all the energy that's going on. And the first thing you think of is something you always do. And so, and it's so funny too. Sometimes people will tell me, you know, now, now this time is going to be different. And then they tell me the exact thing they did last time. And I say, that's the exact thing you did last time. And they say, no, it's not because it's, it's this combination of the Mercury and the trying to the South node. Now, the good news is you do have the sextile to the North node. And that means that through consciousness, through mindfulness, that you can move forward in your life. And as you do, you can become very happy. You, you can really stimulate the energy. And so that's fantastic. So with that said, now we can look at some of the challenges with this new moon. And the biggest one, of course, is that in conjunct to Saturn. So here's the sun and moon coming together and the sun's your sense of self and the moon is what you need. And these two are together. And how wonderful is that? Making an in conjunct to Saturn and Saturn says, you don't know enough. You're not good enough. You have to work harder. Things are going to take a really long time. And the in conjunct energy means that, that you know that these things uh, do take a long time that you know you have to work at them but you don't really want to but then when you come back to where you are in the sun and moon you say this is still not satisfying I, I don't have enough success in my life I don't have what I want so you go back out to that Saturn and you try again now all of these planets are supported by the Mars here in Aries making a trine to that sun and moon and that is good news for you because being that it's rising in your chart that gives you a lot of energy right now so that you can take action it also does mean that when you focus on taking action other things are going to happen doors will open opportunities will come so you do want to really focus on taking action now because you're doing that grand trine that is that Mars, Sun, Moon, and South Node, you can get into a nice loop. But what you don't want to do is do the South Node of doing the same thing over and over and over again. And that's why I say mindfulness is going to be key. Now, 
there's an aspect here that's a minor aspect that I've never talked about on this channel and it's called a sesquin and this is going to reveal a hidden treasure for you and that sesquin which is 105 degrees is between Saturn and Uranus and the Sun and Uranus so you have two sesquines coming together and they are joined by that in conjunct and so a sesquine energy is like trying to do something where you have a, a dull tool to do, use so that would be like cutting a tomato with a really dull knife if you're not very mindful if you're not very careful you just end up squishing the tomato and so there needs to be this uh, this mindfulness of every time you're taking a step right now you need to be aware of what you're doing because if you are not like I said you're going to get into this loop of just doing the same thing over and over and over again so let's look at the in conjunct first that is your point of shyness that's your point of reserve that is that sun in conjunct that Saturn and what that says is I don't know enough I don't have the right education I don't have the right degree oh if I do this I'm going to be sued uh you know this this is something that that is beyond what I know or this is outside my belief system so there's all these limitations now the sesquine aspect your hidden treasure is that Uranus in your own sign of Taurus which says that like a lightning bolt you can grasp whatever is going on you can see the different implications about something so you can take very very quick action it also says that you can pivot now oftentimes when you have strong Taurus energy you're not likely to change but this says you can that you can say you know what I was really focused on this direction but now I see this is going to be better and I am going to change directions this aspect gives you ambition it gives you a desire to fight for your beliefs and fight for what you know is right so all of those things are good right now it also does say that you can do well when you incorporate things into your identity you know if you're a person who wants to exercise if you say I want to exercise it can be a challenge it can be an uphill battle but if you're say to me I'm the kind of person who exercises or I am an athlete now you have incorporated this into your identity and so it's automatic you just get up and you exercise because you're an athlete okay now let's go around the wheel and see what's going on over the next few weeks and what we see for relationships is there's going to be a little bit of a dry period here because we don't have anything in the fifth house nothing in the seventh house and there's no relationship going on between Venus and Pluto or Venus and Mars and so right now your focus is just elsewhere that means if you're in a love relationship you're probably going to just stay there if you're not in a love relationship you are not making a lot of progress right now on moving that forward now of course the other person could have the aspects and you might go along for the ride that can happen and because you are doing some south node energy up in that eighth house of intimacy it's possible that somebody from your past is going to knock on your door again that's not necessarily mean it's a good idea you do need to weigh that decision but overall relationships aren't the focus this time you have an outstanding fourth house now you have sun moon and mercury in the fourth house saying that there can be a lot of enjoyment of home a lot of creative activities that the people who are in the home with you can you know have a good time together that's great and that home is a jumping off place you know maybe you're communicating through zoom or uh, through a channel of your own or things like that so you can really do some wonderful fun and creative things in the home that's great now if you're thinking about moving though we don't have quite the energy lined up right now so you might be still hunting for your dream place or you might still be in negotiations about things because we don't have an aspect going on between your ruler Venus and the Sun and so right now things are not necessarily lining up when it comes to your career we have some really interesting energy because it's ruled by Uranus which is making that wonderful sextile exact sextile even right to your Venus and so that does mean that things at work are going pretty well at least there's an opportunity for them that means you have to take a little bit of action that you might be receiving some recognition for your job or there are changes in your job that are beneficial to you so when somebody says they're making changes don't assume that they're going to be bad 
but just work with the energy that you can do some negotiations because of that Venus in the third and that you can make some changes because it's Uranus when we take a look at your money you are pulling money from that mercury in the fourth house that means communication from home that means even if you do work outside of the home if you want to make more money you need to go home make the calls send the emails from there from a home base you also do want to communicate a great deal to make money this also is very good if you work with anything involving homes that would be home repairs uh, construction real estate assessments um interior design any of those things can be very beneficial for making money right now when we look at how much money is coming in through passive income sources that would be your royalties residuals affiliate marketing and things like that or your own business now we have a little bit of a disconnect because we don't have an aspect going on between mercury and jupiter right now that means you might be putting out more money investing in your business or you're still working working on you know how to do all the stock market trading and things like that you're still working on those things you're not necessarily seeing the profits right now but these as this is an aspect that will line up in the future so just you know keep working on things uh right now because they are going to line up at some point when we take a look at your money derived from career I know the part of fortunes up there I meant to take that out because that's not actually what we need right now because that's an actually mathematical calculation between sun moon and ascendant and we have an artificial ascendant right now because I did a zero wheel yeah that was a lot of technical jargon wasn't it so but just if you could ignore that if you're interested in the part of fortune I do have a video on that I'll put a link somewhere on that but uh what we do have is Neptune and you have Neptune you're going to have Neptune for a long time so I'm always going to say to you when it comes to your income derived from career make sure you're doing the spiritual side of that that is visualizing being aware of the messages from the universe you know if you're receiving a message that your company or your industry is in trouble then it's time Time to make some changes when we look at your money coming from your job we don't have an aspect right now between the mercury and the neptune it's too wide there is a desire to accumulate money you're trying to but too much money is going out right now this energy will shift but right now you're going to have to watch your pennies because there is not the larger sums coming in right now when we look at your windfalls of course with that Taurus there you're always going to get the same planet on the second house and fifth house so oftentimes we are more concerned with the planets in that house but there are no planets in the fifth house right now so you do have an opportunity to make some money through windfalls that would be taking an extra risk going outside your comfort zone you know it's of course I'm always going to caution you make sure that you know what you're doing that mercury says do learn what you're doing and look what it's doing it's doing in conjunction to that Saturn up there in the ninth house which says you know you might not feel that you're ready and trust that if you feel you're not ready you're not ready so take taking small risks you know reaching out to an influencer or somebody like that that's wonderful you know tell them how much you admire their channel and uh, maybe they will start a connection with you that would be fantastic so but when it comes to taking larger risks because that mercury is not doing a good aspect with the saturn do be cautious and that's it i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up please subscribe if you haven't already and stay tuned at the end there is some footage of the magical cat larue